Let's talk about the E28. What does it say about your company's ambitions, Xpeng's ambitions in what is a very competitive space and where, of course, as we said, auto sales generally are being squeezed? Yeah, so E28 is an important product for us. It's going to be our second production model. Uh, it's a t completely different platform. Uh, it is a sports sedan, uh, different from our first product, which is a compact SUV. E28 will be equipped with the I would say world-class uh, technology. Uh, it will be the first production vehicle globally to incorporate NVIDIA's supercomputing platform Xavier, which has announced uh, the partnership this week in uh, NVIDIA's GTC conference this week. Uh, we're also going to have superior user and driver interface uh, with a vehicle, and also with uh, a number of uh, design features that will be really eye-catching. So very exciting to see it. And in terms of the G3, which I saw down at your Guangzhou headquarters earlier this year, on the late part of last year, in terms of the rollout there, how, what are you seeing in terms of volumes and sales? Are you on track still in terms of targets for units? Yeah, we're still on track. Uh, we have seen very exciting momentum in our orders. Uh, we have orders now uh, need to be delivered well into the second half of this year. Uh, and also our production uh, plan is a working according to schedule. Um, we use the first uh, three months of this year to ramp up our production and we anticipate to start larger volume productions starting in the second half this month. And the volumes that you need to make the financials work, what are you talking about? So I think uh, the volumes will be in the tens of thousands uh, for this year and probably with the new model, we hope to double that next year. And manufacturing capacity is, is often a challenge. It's been a challenge for your competitors, NEO, for, it's been a challenge for Tesla, of course. How do you ensure or well, I guess the question is, is that the biggest hurdle as well for Xpeng? Well, I think it's one of the hurdles. Mm. Uh, I think comp uh, production capacity and production quality is always going to be a hurdle for a new company uh, to prove itself. Mm. Uh, we actually are going to employ uh, a dual strategy in manufacturing. So the first model, the G3, is manufactured at our contract manufacturing partners plant in Zhengzhou. Uh, it is going very well. We're working very well with our partner. Uh, and also our next model, the E28, we plan actually to manufacture in our own manufacturing facility in Zhaoqing, uh, which is under construction and we expect to uh, ready for production by the end of this year. Brian, it's Yvonne in Hong Kong. Just wanted to get your take on you know, what, what's been going on in Tesla in China. Of course, they're opening this production plant. They've lowered price, prices as well for their models. How is that going to impact the Chinese EV market overall? Are you sensing a little bit more competition now? And is price the only way you can actually beat out Tesla in China? Well, I think uh, the entry by Tesla into the Chinese consumer market, I think is in general, I think a good thing for the consumer market. First of all, I think having a superior product uh, that is well known has a good brand will I would say, ignite more consumer interest in EV. So it's good generally for uh, Chinese consumer market. Secondly, I think uh, the uh, Tesla uh, will bring high quality supplier chain to China, which is also good for the Chinese manufacturing base. In terms of competition, I agree that it will increase competition for the EV market here locally. However, I think uh, in terms of price segment, we are looking at a completely different price segment compared to Tesla. Even with its Model 3 and to be launched Model Y, I think Tesla is still viewed as a premium segment product. Uh, the current price for Model 3 is more than double the price of x G3 right now. So we are not competing in the same segment. However, I think uh, in addition to the price differentials, Xiaopong will try to um, focus on localized technology development, focus on local user experience and product um, uh, designs. So we hope we actually yeah. will have a differentiated product compared to Tesla. Yeah, your, your targets, though, you said was going to be in the tens of thousands. I'm wondering, does that factor in what we've been seeing in the regulatory front, where the government could be scrapping some of these subsidies now? How do you see that playing out? Is there going to be a big short-term impact? I think everybody's watching the new subsidy policy, which still have not been uh, officially rolled out. We anticipate the subsidy to, uh, uh, sub, you know, I think, reduce substantially this year. I think there will be a short-term impact to consumer demand, uh, but it will impact all the EV makers. Uh, so I think as the price will be uh, felt uh, consistently across the board, I will f 
I would like to you know, think that the uh, impact on XPAN will be moderate uh, because we will be just one of the vehicles that have the same uh, subsidy in fact. But in the long run, though, I think uh, reducing subsidy will be good for the industry because I think the industry uh, stimulated by consumer and subsidy will not last because ultimately you have to compete on the product itself. So I think with our superior technology and product positioning, we'll hope to win over consumers over the long run rather than rely on subsidies. Mm, and part of that quality, part of that product is is the tie-up with NVIDIA, <clears throat> which of course has right. got a pretty good re reputation in terms of the chips. But I wonder if that makes you vulnerable given what we're seeing in terms of the tensions around technology between the US and China. Is that a potential vulnerability if things go in the wrong direction? Well, I think uh, as an EV maker, you are part of the global supply chain, mm. whether you like it or not. Uh, you cannot escape. And also, I think some of the best technologies that can be supplied to manufacturers in auto will come from the U.S. So we have to work with the U.S. suppliers uh, or technology providers like NVIDIA. So we're hopeful that the global trade will not come to a halt, uh, but also most of our supply chain um, is actually local, based locally in China. So we're confident that we can weather short-term uh, variabilities. Mm. And what is your funding looking like? Are you looking for additional sources of funding? Do you have enough runway at this point? Well, we still have uh, you know, very large uh, cash balance on our balance sheet. But given we are expanding and ramping up volume production this year, we are uh, in the market potentially looking for additional financing. Um, however, I think uh, you know, that will depend on the market conditions and also the progress of our business um, plan. Any plans on an IPO? Well, I think, uh, as I said um, you know, previously, that um, IPO will have to come naturally for a company like Xpun. As we execute our business plan in terms of delivery, technology development, new model rollout, I think IPO will be a natural outcome.